Welcome back to my channel. My name is Basta Olga. In today's video, we're gonna change late on Mr. Makeup Vlog. So I guess um, maybe five or six, I don't know, years ago, late on Mr. She appeared in really weird makeup vlog. Every single time you try to find the worst makeup vlog of a celebrity, you find Tyra Banks, you find late on Mr. with this makeup vlog, and a couple more celebrities. So I wanted to recreate the same makeup vlog, but update it. Kind fix some mistakes and offer my version. I I do believe and I really hope that my version is much better than hers. That's why if you're interested then please stay tuned and let's get started. I primed my face, nothing extra about that, just like regular routine. You can check out my previous videos. I did the same stuff. I'm gonna apply my foundation. This is gonna be the Ordinary Colors Coverage Foundation color 1.0P. I'm not saying that you should use the same shade. I'm just saying that you have to find your perfect shade. She's wearing some foundation, but it's like super wide. I'm gonna do it real quick, guys. I don't really think that we should uh, focus on my foundation. And my next thing, I'm gonna be applying concealer. This one is from Essence. This color is a little bit warmer than my skin tone, but it doesn't look off. That is why I'm gonna be using one. And again, I'm gonna set my whole face with Makeup Revolution powder, translucent powder. At first, I'm gonna be applying this powder underneath my eyes with a, with a brush and then go to a puff. In my opinion, they could have saved this makeup look if they used a little bit more bronzer and blush. It's too much color going on. That's why we're gonna focus on contour first and then a little bit of blush because she has like gold and, and purple and red and, and pink, too much of everything. That's why I'm going to my e.l.f. contour palette. At first, I'm gonna be going to like really, really soft beige even color. And I'm gonna concentrate this on the cheekbones, a little bit on the forehead and on the tip of the nose. And that's it. And if I need some more color, I'm gonna be going to this shade and I'm not gonna be applying this over my face, only here to cut the cheekbone, uh, the cheekbone and the jawline. But let me show you how I'm gonna do that. At first, I will be going to my blush. This is a blush brush, but I use it in a brush for almost every single makeup look. Look at this, really soft, almost invisible. And now I am gonna be using a little bit different brush. Um, this one is from BH. And I could have used some Ingo brush as well, but we, we just don't really need that. Probably um, go into this warm shade, velvet, pink, and red. The, they are cool undertones. So we are gonna add some warmth, just a little bit here to cut my cheek. By the way guys, this warm color I'm not bringing to the center of the forehead. I'm concentrating in the corners of the forehead. And right now, I want to tone everything down because it might be a little bit intense. Go into the same Ingo brush and the same shade. Tapping off, trying to make everything look even. Now we can talk about blush. I'm gonna be using my MOA Makeup Academy blush. This is really, really intense, like super pigmented. Make sure it's not extra pigmented. And get this shade into my cheekbone. That does look good. A little bit of highlighter, cause I really wanna lift my cheeks. That is the reason why I'm going to MOA Makeup Academy highlighter. This actually has some blue shimmers. That's why it has some blue kind of a cool undertone. And that's what I'm looking for. That's much better. It's really soft. She has brows. Let's say it this way, she has brows, but they are not curved. She or her makeup artist has done nothing to her brows. I would have done soapy brows for her cause she has really beautiful brows. I would have gone to some brow gel and angle brush. Guys, I've done this a million times. First of all, I'm gonna apply 
soap over my spoolie, cover my brow with a soap, then outline my brow, brush off this gel, extra gel, and shape them once again. Create straws and then it's done. I'm gonna be using some fixing spray as well. Uh, we have to set all the powders. If I've used too much powder or if I've used some powder that reflect on camera, it's actually gonna set it and prevent from this white spots over the face. I use matte finish setting spray. And what I really like to do is to dab my beauty blender all over my face while it's still wet. Now we're gonna be talking about eyes. Okay, first things first. I guess they used super light velvet shade, that's why it turned that bad. She has brown eyes, that's why smoky eyes would have worked if they used some dark shades. I am gonna be using today a lot of different eyeshadow palettes, but if you have your own shadow palettes, then just go for them. First of all, I'm using Beauty Bay Bright Matte Palette. I actually think that I would need to set my lid with a primer. Still can't find my favorite NYX Proven Eye Primer. I have a brush. This one is nice. It's kind of like a blending brush, but smaller one for crease moments. So my first shade, this purple. Tap off. And now to a little bit smaller brush, you can use two options. The first option is this, and the second option is this. So a little bit smaller blending brush. I guess I'm going to option number one. And apply. And it's time to add gradually different shades. Let's go for this one. And with a smaller blending brush, I am blending out um, this block of shades. Soft purple, or you can go for some soft pink color. Doesn't matter. I'm going to some, some soft to something soft. And I'm placing this over my shades, not going to the brow bone. Now to the fun part. I'm gonna be taking off some of these eyeshadows uh, with a makeup remover. I would need a little bit more of the same primer. I have Makeup Revolution Forever Flawless Constellation Palette in this beautiful golden shade. Oh my god, it's so pretty. If you feel like your line messed up a little bit, go to your beauty blender. To the lower lid, I am going to the black eyeliner, outlining my waterline with some leftovers on the brush because I have like really, really dark purple shade. I'm smudging out of this line. It actually looks really good without anything else, but I've noticed that she had some shimmers underneath her eyes. I wanna go to spiral shade from the same palette. I'm adding in the center of my lower lid, add some black eyeliner. The line has to be thin. To highlight my brow bone, um, there's like one more pretty shade, some kind of like rosy. Getting this all over the brow bone. Probably I'm gonna add a little bit more here. And I feel like probably I wouldn't need any falses today. I'm using Maybelline High Sky Night Sky Mascara. And last but not least, let's talk about lips. I would have used something really soft, maybe even pink or something, but she used some red lipstick. I guess we would need something dark and probably just change the color a little bit. I'm gonna be using in the set of the lip this brown shade from Makeup Revolution. And in the center of the lip, I'm gonna be adding this uh, beautiful Makeup Revolution Pro Lipstick Intense Noir um, color. And now I'm gonna make sure that uh, my lips look even.
And that is it, guys. You can use something softer, like much softer, soft pink or something, but she wanted the full glam. She wanted something bright. And um, I guess this option is much better than red lipstick because I, I can envision something better than this option instead of red lipstick. Actually, it looks edgy and sexy, kind of like dark glam. And this is my version how I would have fixed this makeup look. You have to have courage to wear this lipstick with those eyes. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then let me know in the comments. Maybe you can send me some photos that you think where makeup looked a little bit off. I can try to redo it for you guys and uh, do it my version. So I'll see you in one of my next videos. Love you guys. Bye-bye.